Hey guys, how are you doing? What's up? I'm Starburger and today we're going to take a look at a ship that's still in concept and was on the roadmap but got removed. It's the Drake Interplanetary Vulture. With the release of the Aegis Reclaimer as an endgame ship, CIG needed to salvage gameplay starter ship and the Drake Vulture was born. Being Drake and telling the press repeatedly that they are not a company that sells to pirates, they are using pirate names pretty often. With the Cutlass, Kraken, Buccaneer and now the Vulture, Drake stays true to their naming traditions. On to the Vulture. If we compare the looks to real life, it's basically a combine harvester. The backward slope cockpit and the arms extending in front of the ship really give that give me that corn vibe. The concept images show that the Drake yellow, dark grey and black coloring is still there and also the ship has that industrial look. And there's also that suspicion they use duct tape to hold the whole thing together. Let's take a look at the stats. Classified as a light salvage ship, it's 33 meters long, 60 meters wide and 8 meters high. These dimensions can of course change because it's still in development. It has a max crew of 1, making it similar to the Prospector in it being a single seater, single person operated ship. It has a cargo capacity of 12 SCU in the back and a rear loading ramp. Not being a combat ship, the Vulture has two S1 hardpoints, but it will have two size 2 tractor beams to get all the salvage in. Now we cannot talk about the Vulture without talking about the salvage mechanic. It has been on the roadmap and removed from it more than I can remember. Here's my take on it, and this is my speculation and not confirmed by any means. I think CIG is waiting on the new cargo grid and physicalized inventory. Maybe without these CIG will not be able to convert salvage into cargo. If we look at the prospector, the cargo is there, but not physicalized. Anyway, the salvage mechanic and with that the vulture have been removed to be added on a later date. Now should you buy one? Ranking in the standard MMO classes is definitely a support ship and it will need an escort when going into dangerous situations. Maybe a couple of buccaneers. If you like industrial gameplay and make money, well, the honorable way, this could be your starter ship. There you go. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you for the next video. Hi guys, Starburger here. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to keep up with the latest videos, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And if you want to join me in the Star Citizen universe, click on the recruitment link below and receive 5000 UEC when the game goes live for you to spend on anything you want. Well, spend them on Starburgers, of course. See you around. Come stop by Starburger today.